How do you find the volume of a sphere? This is for section 11-6 out of your textbooks. And this is the second video for the section. Remember, this section is all about spheres. So last video, we looked at the surface area. And now we're going to go ahead and look at how to find the volume of a sphere. Here's a reminder of how your notes should be set up to take notes from this video. Remember, this is, uh, you already did video title number one, which was finding the surface area to sphere. Now we're doing video title number two. There is no three. And don't forget your summary, which should be three to four sentences in length. Okay, uh, sorry there was a little mix up on this formula too, but this is correct. That's on the screen now. This is volume of a sphere. The volume of a sphere is four thirds pi, and this time we're going to do r cubed instead of r squared. So it's four thirds pi r to the cubed power. Okay, well, for the first example, we need to find the volume of a sphere, and we're going to round our answer to the nearest hundredths. Here's the formula to use v equals four thirds pi r cubed. We'll plug in the radius to be 2 because it gave us the radius as 2 centimeters. Then we'll multiply. We'll do 2 to the 3rd first because exponents come first from order of operations. Then multiply your answer by pi. And then we'll multiply that by 4 thirds. And we'll discuss this in class on how to do that if you're a little bit stuck. Um, <clears throat> but to help you right now, you would want to do 2 to the 3rd times pi, then times 4, then divide your answer by 3. That's the best way to do it. And we get 33.51 centimeters cubed. Okay, now let's find the volume of the sphere given the diameter. So we are going to use the same formula, V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. But instead of plugging in r to be um, 10, remember because this is diameter, we're going to take half the diameter and we get 5, and that is our r. We'll do 5 to the third power times pi times 4, divide our entire answer by 3, and you would get 523.60 centimeters cubed. Please practice doing this calculation on your calculator now. If you don't get 4 or 523.60 centimeters cubed, then you're doing something wrong and you need to try to figure out what your mistake is. So I'll explain it again. You want to do 5 to the third first, then multiply that by pi, multiply that by 4, and then divide everything by 3. Okay, here's our next example. We need to find the radius given the volume. And the volume that they gave us was 33.51 centimeters cubed. So here's another way to look at the formula for volume of a sphere. Instead of um, writing the four thirds on the side, I just put four on top and then third on the bottom. Like I explained on how you would calculate your answer. Now we'll plug in the volume to be 33.51 that was given to us. And we're, remember, we're trying to isolate the r. We're trying to get one single r by itself to find the radius of the sphere. Next, we'll multiply both sides by 3 to get rid of this denominator. So the, um, this 3 will cancel out. And now I'll have 3 times 33.51, which will give us 100.53. Divide both sides by 4 pi. And once you, get, once you do that calculation here, you'll get 8 equals r to the third. Then you'll take the cubed root of both sides. That's what the three, the cubed root means. Uh, cubed root of both and the cubed root of eight is two. And that gives us our radius. And this is our final answer. Now, if you had some difficulty, make sure you write everything down and then rewind this part of the video. Bring any questions you have to class. And of course, we'll practice a few more examples so you can use your notes to help you. Throughout this video, you learned what the volume formula was for a sphere. You learned how to use it. You also learned how to use the, the volume, if given, to find the radius. And you can also use that to find the diameter. So now that we've done a few examples, you can answer the question, how do you find the volume of a sphere? I'd like you to also explain how you can work backwards if given the volume from the very beginning. Bring any questions you have to class. We'll practice a few examples. And this week, you'll have a quiz on this concept.